got the bumper off. So obviously we can see it hit right here and kind of pushed off sideways. But the bumper's not really bent anywhere other than here, which I don't like these stock bumpers. I'm ordering a new one for it anyway. And my tailgate's not the flattest thing, but nothing like sprung loose when I started taking it off. Everything else seems to be pretty straight. So the reason it bent the frame back there is from this hit right here on the control arm, which I mean, I guess it's good it didn't break the control arm, but I probably would have rathered it pretzel this control arm and bent the frame. But still, it's not a big deal. So I have to go over to mom and dad's house later tonight. I got an engine that's stored over there that someone's buying. I'm going to pick up dad's port of power while I'm over there and see about opening up the rails there get it back straight or remotely straight and then i'll take it out to the shop tomorrow and probably have chris weld the plate between it and put a piece over this rail probably have to do it over the other side too because the chances of me hitting something hard on these control arms i mean i may not hit a tree like ray but uh you know stump or something sticking up it's not out of the question to hit with the lower control arms so i'll do a little bit of reinforcement down there to try to prevent that from happening again i really want it to bend you know in here somewhere versus in the frame but it's not a big deal i mean i'll get it fixed if not i've already found another frame for an 03 it's 200 bucks i mean it sucked to swap a frame but it's gonna be an afternoon to do so it's not the end of the world you know, ray said he was gonna buy the bumper for it. he wanted to pay to fix it and i'm like i'm not worried about it it's a four-wheeler we beat on them we break them it happens so I'm just going to keep tearing a little bit of stuff apart and get it stood up and then I'm going to go grab the port of power and get those rails spread back apart. It doesn't have to go much. So when you look, we are just starting to hit right there at the last bit. When we come around here. Yeah, maybe we've got more to go than I thought, but It's not gonna be too bad overall. We'll get it straightened out. Fun relief cut. So, started fixing the frame on the blaster here. We cut out the bent section. Next up, we're gonna get the port of power in here and push it back straight. And then uh, Chris just went and found some tubing that's the right diameter to get that put back in there. You wanna get the port of power on first and we'll get it pushed back. No, I'm gonna cut more out. Oh, you're going to cut more out? Yeah. Okay. Great, now there's a bigger hole in my frame. So we just cut the frame, pushed it back up with the port of power, and then welded in a piece of solid bar. Now we have a piece of tubing down there we're going to split and clamshell over it and then weld over. So this is going to put a lot of strength back in the frame there. So now that Chris has the bar inside of there burned in, we took a piece of tubing here, cut the clamshell, put it over it, and this is going to get welded around and down the seams and back into the frame. So that's going to be up next here.
a hell of a lot stronger than it was. Well, we just got back. Huge thanks to Chris for getting the frame straightened up today and getting that reinforcement welded in. Uh, tomorrow I've got some more stuff to do to this. We'll get new petcock on the fuel tank. The carburetor gets to come apart. We get to fix all of that. We've got some other stuff to do. Give it a bath. But we're good now. At least the wheels don't hit and it rides straight again. <laughs>